Hey guys, so starting out with the face, I have already applied my NYX HD Photogenic Concealer as well as my CoverGirl Foundation and I set it all with the Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Finishing Powder. I did this off camera just to save time, but I'll have all of the information about all the products I use in the description box as always. So moving on to the eyes, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Sparkle Nude onto my lids and I'm not going any further than my crease with this and then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. And that was in preparation for these eyeshadows I'll be using from the Wicked Dreams palette. I'm taking this golden orangey color and I'm just packing that on directly over top of that jumbo eye pencil. And just like we did with that same pencil, I'm not going any further than the crease with this color. Next, I'm going to take this matte brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to blend out the orangey gold color that we used on our lids. And this is also just going to add a little bit more intensity to the look and make it a bit more smoky. And to intensify the look even more, I'm going to darken up the outer corners using this darker matte brown eyeshadow with a smaller brush. And I'm just going to darken the outer V of my eye and then kind of blend it into the crease. And once you get it to the intensity that you like, just go ahead and blend it out with a clean fluffy brush. And next I'm going to add a highlight and this is just like a matte kind of pink eyeshadow. And I'm just applying that directly underneath my brow bone as well as the inner corner of my eyes. And then I decided to fill in my eyebrows. I'm not really sure why I did it at this point, but I did. I'm using a NYX eyebrow marker and I'm just filling them in lightly. I don't want them to look too intense or anything because this is like a light spring-ish summery look. And I'm going to also set my eyebrows using a clear lash and brow gel. I do this all the time and it keeps your eyebrows looking really nicely groomed throughout the entire day. And now for my favorite part of the entire look, I'm going to use a gel liner by NYX and I'm applying this directly onto my waterline. And I'm also going to smudge it into my lashes and along the outer half of my bottom lash line. I wanna make sure that this looks very intense, but I'm also gonna use my finger just to kind of smooth out the edges and make it look a little bit softer. And now I'm going to apply a few coats of my Maybelline Gloss Volume Express Cat Eyes Mascara super long name, but I'm going to apply a few coats to my top lashes and I'm going to leave my bottom lashes bare so that the whole focus is the actual color on the bottom lash line. But of course you could do whatever you want. And now for the rest of my face, I'm going to apply a bronzer by NYX and I'm mixing both of these sides together and I'm just dusting that along my cheeks just to give it a little bit of a glow and shimmer to my face. And then I felt like I could use a little bit more of a rosiness to my cheeks, so I'm taking one of my favorite blushes by NYX, this is called Angel, and I'm just dusting that directly over top of the bronzer. So now for the lips, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick, and this is a nude color, I think it's called Pink Sugar or something like that, and I'm going to blend that out with my fingers as well so it doesn't look too harsh or anything. And over top, I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Apple Strudel, and just applying that directly over top, and it gives a slight pinkiness to your lips without looking too overpowering for your eyes or anything like that. So that is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. And this is going to be my entry for the NYX Face Awards 2014. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next video.